Lights out for OG now. DM in trouble. Quest around him. Five men still alive, and they're going to get a wipe here. OG get hammered. Man, I'm. I actually don't even know Stand what I'm inside the Chrono Spear, the TA2000 with the BKB. Beautiful stun across from Omar as well. They do have the damage to bring them both down. New from the sideline. Pew, 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 and GG. What? Oh, oh he's tiny. Might player. be right here. It's he very close. Kravitz goes out. Oh, right. They dies with TA2000. Oh, very so smart. Close. He popped the BKB to stop the stun of the Ravage. Immediately Sunder jab, so he instantly died. West might look to fight even with this. They get a ward place. They see the couriers going in. They have an idea of where they are. Ramses. Okay, they're, they're thinking about it. Wait, okay, Blinken from Omar. They get the silence on the back right of the BKB's out right away. In comes Malak. Ends up snapping the coil there on Solo into the Omni Slash. Q-Talk is going to go down. A nice trade, at least for the moment. But can they get Ramses? That's the big kill. The Doom still on to the Juggernaut as they chase down Solo. Ramses Doom making alone. it happen on the backside. And yeah, Ramses is isolated. A beautiful fight here from the side of Quest. Buyback coming through from the ET into the Onslaught. Can they finish him off the Blade Fairy? Great force after the low ground here from Ramses. But he needs help. He is stuck in a really rough spot as Noob will blink on over and help finish him off. So wow. great turn of events as Miro comes in. Looking for the Doom. Ends up finding it. Here comes Malik. But... It's still just so rough. Malik is here. They had the sustain onto the juggernaut. Oh my god. He should go for the deny. And they he get He denies it. Okay. himself with his man. Nope. Certainly do. They're coming in for this one. Kiss is coming over. Well, it feels like it's more for the vision than anything. Noob just going to stand his ground against Sacred and just try and take him out. At least uh, over half health taken away. In comes TA2000, looking for Stinger. They've ignored the Roshan and they're going for the kills instead. They know they need to defend this as they don't want to steal to come in. Meanwhile, we've got two fights breaking out. TA2000, he's interacting with the Medusa. Meanwhile, on the sidelines, they're trying to bring down Sacred and they are able to do so as Omar gets chased down by Dark Mago. Medusa in the middle of everything. She's doomed up. TA2000 gets into him but does get stunned immediately but now starts dealing the real damage to the Medusa. The Yules is out to buy him a bit of time. Dark Mago doesn't time it correctly and now he's just sat inside the Chronosphere. The TA2000 with the BKB. Beautiful stun across from Omar as well. They do have the damage to bring them both down. New from the sideline. Pew, 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 GG. What? I mean, no nah, buyback, I guess, but... Nah, that's a good GG. Nah. Trust that's that, that, that's what you... Here about how to start this curry. Kind of the front liner here. The ST has the man up. I need looking for anyone who can catch. Yeah, it feels like... Oh. OG in a situation where it's like, oh, we don't need to be here, but we don't want to allow Quest to get in the pit either. It's a stalemate. Noob. Yeah, until Noob makes the jump. Kills up Tiger, buyback immediately. Half HP Tiny getting blown up by Yuragi. BZM picks up the kill as Malik runs in. Iron Shell surged up with the one hit tap down. Yuragi sniped by the TA2000. Seb's Lion getting shredded as well. A double kill for Quest. And Roshan, looks like it belongs to them. OG are on the run. They might lose Tiger now. A dieback from the Undying. The side plate hit just whacking into him. That was beautiful. TA2000 got some really nice starting damage there. Get the chip damage in first on the faces void. And then they surprised him with how they bursted him. Like, they don't have the best lockdown. And Tiny already jumped someone else. You'd think that it's flattened by Quest. Seb smoked up with a couple of his teammates. Smoke breaks there. And BZM going to wander forward, see if his one breaks as well. Quest, yet again, using these fogs and tree lines very well, allowing Noob to make the jump forward. There's the vacuum into the earth spike. Stolen Yuragi dies, and BZM in trouble too. Tornado's out, but that's lights out for OG now. DM in trouble. Quest around him. Five men still alive, and they're going to get a wipe here. OG get hammered. Man, I'm... I actually don't even know what I'm seeing. He just doesn't BKB. Maybe it's the ping or something, the issues. The players were mentioning that they have some packet or uh, high uh, ping issues, but he got silenced on Void there, doesn't press the BKB, and just gets back. He's illusion. I left it up. Duraccio, time walk, vacuum, silence. The faceless void being focused down. Duraccio's dead. Quest execute perfectly. Oh. 
Oh, the tombstone again. Saving noob this time. Gives a chance. The turn around onto Quinn, silencing the Timber Saw, and they've got so much control for him. The damage from the Chakram stolen. Destructive forces out of quest as they secure the Roshan Pit. Three big kills for them against Gaming Gladiators. Back up and I've had enough. All right, they're going to make a move without the Lycan. I think they're just going for an Aegis Steal. I have to imagine that's the only idea here. It's got to be a steal. It's it's Jabs going in with Ravage, trying to steal this Aegis away. Oh, he's timing might be player. right here. It's very it's close. Ravage goes out. Oh, right, and dies with TA2000. Oh, very smart. So he popped the BKB to stop the stun of the Ravage. Immediately sundered Jabs, so he instantly died. And so they will collect everything from the pit, I believe, and they get two kills out of it. That was so close to being clutch there for Talon. A crazy good angle from Jabs. It's not easy to get in that pit while you're still smoked. And the timing was pretty much perfect. There's just not much else you can do. The Lotus Pool turns around to try and fight with a trap on Celery. Focus on the Undying, though. Silence him. Trying to stop this decay from coming. Tombstone is on cooldown, though. As KRA just charges forward. I'm trying to bodyguard TA2000 here. He's going to die in the end, but the TA trap slowing Ace down. Do we have the DPS? TA2000 just about secures the kill. Very well done in that trade. Chrono like that, and a Mystic Flare on top. The DP dying quickly, a bit of heal though. Noob kept alive, turns around, still looks like she's going to die though. As the Faceless Void can't finish her off, doesn't stick on the man. The DP is still alive. Spirit Siphons are going. Noob caught up in the Chakram. The damage coming with the Blood Grenade on her. The Impetus shot up to high ground, finishes her. Quest have lost the DP undying. As Quinn going to TP out successfully from that middle lane. No further stuns coming. A TA2000, one Mel Strike to get the double kill for her. Two for two trade. Gaming Gladiator is spending Shapeshift and Chrono, though. Disjoint. Some of the single target go attempts from EG or you tank up an Omni Slash. That's all your damage gone. These Omni Slashes need to land for Pekaz. They need to land big time. Got the pick off on Panda. So they're trying to funnel back into the base. They're going to go inside of the base. Go for Whisper as well with the Pulverize slamming down Whisper. They'll get that kill. They do manage to get a pick up. Yeah, Kiori, who had a godlike streak, does die. The Omni Slash is doing some okay damage here. Malik, though, the one who's low, is going to be able to limp away while TA2000, who's plenty healthy with his army of illusions, marching down EG. And he wants to make sure there is nobody who can escape from this fight. A song to reset up to kill as many heroes as possible. They're gonna go Panda again. That's gonna be a dieback for him. Sea Smile did manage to blink away though. And they kill Malik. A long shot from Matthew with the damage.